and welcome to Racing, Pacing, Chasing, Season 2, Episode 22. All the twos and Tommy... You didn't do it this week, did you? No, I didn't, mate. I didn't. And you seem to be taking a bit of joy out of it. You jinxed me by making it the Let It Ride tip. I'm Aaron Bain, the host, and you're not this week. No. It was, was on the line, and you didn't take it. I was going for five in a row, Tommy and Impact. And the host seat. But like life, it's inevitably, irrevocably, you cannot win them all. We move on. However, I did Tommy, it was for shade ch- one. It was for charity <laughs> this <laughs> week. That's what I was just not good at that. I'll wager down. Uh, charity begins at home. Uh, but look, congratulations to I'm going to name him. Chrissy Oakley is the man behind 50 Shades. He helps me out with the, with some of the tips. Mr. Dependable got up and it paid a 740 because it doubled its winning. So we had our first 50 Shades winner. So we're on a streak in the now, shades. Just on Tommy's impact, you reckon yes. the jock might have. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> Let's not pick on Jamie Carr. So I had a very quick chance to get the phone out in the com box on the weekend, and she was leading with 400 to go, but you talked about it. You said, Jamie's not 60 kilos. They did say that like, over they heard the race go over the <laughs> loudspeaker. <laughs> Heavy track, and I was, she felt something, and um, instead of winning, she finished last. So, But and that happens. It, 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 was, it didn't have it in it. So, But when it turned, it was 300 to go. I was like, oh, it's in back time. But no, it wasn't. Got it. wasn't good enough. Can't win tomorrow. Now, yeah. Tommy, we must thank our sponsors. It's enough about you, but yeah. have you seen the new tablecloth tonight? Mate, is that what they've given us? <laughs> I wouldn't think of two. <laughs> no, don't they've be given like that. It, They've given us the Billy, cash. Billy Threadgold, he has joined the team from Air Diffusion Agencies. He, uh, he signed with Rock last week. He said, mm-hmm. Tommy's impact. He said, I've got to be a part of it. Where do I sign? How much do you want? Bill, welcome aboard, mate. It's a great that you've joined us as a Platinum Program Partner. Yep. Not a sponsor, Platinum Program Partner. Great to have you. He's a horse owner, just like myself, so Bill and I, we've got a bit in common. Yeah. <laughs> Bill's probably worth a lot, a lot more than A footy fan, loves, he, loves footy, a feed. I'll loves tell you, a, we, loves we, a restaurant, we, we, we got a lot in common, my friend. Bill, welcome aboard, yeah. and we will be sporting our air diffusion. Agency's uh, banner, tablecloth, yep. you could say, and there'll be yep. plenty of promotions we'll get Look, to his facility as well. But he's your one-stop fo- shop for air conditioning. Could, right, mate, it? and so thank you so much, Bainey. You're the host, I'm the star, we know that. But <laughs> there's two there's two groups two groups that this show doesn't happen with. One is our sponsors, they're amazing. Two is our viewers, so thank you so much. And our views just continuing to yeah. increase week in, week out. We also must thank the Choice Hotels Group and the Prince Albert Hotel Gawler. We are in Gawler tonight. We'll get back out there and see you, Baz. They're open for business. Baz tells me that uh, he's just waiting for us to get back out there because he's uh, he's been a little bit snowed under with the gossip he's been hearing around town. And I tell you what, there is some gossip coming out of Gawler, Tommy. Yes, we're here tonight at the Gawler Le- Greyhound Racing Club, and they're just one of the, uh, the the chasing segment a little bit later. I, right, say I can't well, say any more. I've never been here before. This is one of the most impressive venues. I will come here and watch some dog races, um, probably maybe with my mate. Uh, you might be coming. Gelato. You might be coming here later in the year for a big event that you've ever seen. Mate. Oh, I'd like that. Anyway, let's move on. It's time for news, brews and barbecues. Righto, Tommy, news, brews and barbecues. Thanks to Jack Paint Club and Jason Neve and his team. We're there next week, they tell me. Jason Neve, I can't wait. Beer on set. He, you cannot host a show without a beer. Mate, I'm more excited than I was to see Justin do the robot to his special effects. It's going to be fantastic to be there and, uh, and I'll try what, a beer. Tell you what's more exciting. In news, we're going to kick off Sky Racing 2. We'll be finally free of charge oh, August God. 1st. Do you know how many times in my life I've put late bets on and not seen them because I am too cheap to pay for that'll, Sky? Racing? That'll be good for you because you are a part owner of a pacing horse and most yes. more often than not the Globe Derby Monday meets are on Sky too so yeah. you'll need that. <laughs> yep. No, it, it is good news as well. No, yeah. so no more five dollars per month extra for those that had to pay it. It's going to be on your uh, box office one channels and you'll be uh, ready to just uh, click over yep. as you uh, put that late bit on. But um, making making horse racing more accessible to the people, that's what we need. And we want people to come back to the races. They want it, we want to follow Tommy all the way through. Now another story. Black caviar's foal. Yep. Latest foal already been named by connections. I am caviar. Yep. Yes, great name, great name for a great horse. I'm a big fan of the I Am Invincible breed. Um, you mix the speed and the toughness, and then you, you throw in a bit of black caviar and look out. Did you ever see the great, the great uh, yeah, black caviar not, race? Not live. Uh, I did. I did. I remember two things from that day. Um, it was. Uh, I was doing, that, a shoot, doing a shoe Was that the cock plate? No, I remember Daryl Braithwaite singing the horses, and I remember Black Caviar going past me, and like it walked past me, and I swear to God, I've never said this about a horse. It's the only horse I've ever seen that was arrogant. It just, it just had an air of I am the greatest about it. So you turned to your mate and said, "I like that one from Manny." <laughs> I actually, yeah, I actually backed it that day, oh. and it had a win. <laughs> Well done, genius. <laughs> anyway, under other news and local news, we talk about we're in Gawler tonight, and the Gawler um, hosts the Metropolitan this meet this weekend, this Saturday. Yep. But Murray Bridge had it last week. What about the state money offer? Four 
$456,000. In prize money, it's not too bad. And um, We don't race for that much for the calendar year in the harness segment. <laughs> no, but we'll, we'll, we'll build those profits up. And um, you might have even seen our good friend Shane Collins doing the old Leighton Ewart fist pump. Come on! Because a 1,000 race goals have been approved this Saturday at Gawler which is great news for everyone. Function involved. Centre, booked out. As Function Centre. Yeah. Booked out. Get there. Shane, is it booked out already? Booked out. Is that right? He said you can't get a seat, not even for you and I, mate. Yeah. Okay. okay. You can get a spot in the pool, though. <laughs> um, just on Gawler, we've got uh, Kerry McInoldy on the show later, special guest. We must yes. shouldn't have mentioned that at the start of the show for those that uh, want to hang around and just it'll drop in a short. We've got a short break. We've got a special guest coming out of the Yin Yang. We've got my favourite Bane here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yanni, Yanni uh, we had, we had ba- Bazza Curtain. Uh, yeah, it was good. It's been good. It's been a good night. They tell me you hosted the footy show tonight. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't host this one, so I, uh, I needled, I, I knifed old Smithy. Anyway, great work by Colin and his team. We look forward to. Uh, they tell me he's got a winner next huh? Wednesday at Gawler too. We have. We're all, I think we're... No, Colo does. Oh, does he? Colo's got one, they reckon, just winning next week at Gawler, but we'll, you'll hear about that in Kerry's interview. Right. Anyway. Recent weeks I've been taking the bruise, mate, so we'll continue that just as I start to waggle my way into host seat. You're a long way from uh, Yeah, I know. Uh, the jockeys. Ladies ever, bro, after racing over the last seven days, uh, it started with races at Bordertown on Sunday a week ago, uh, trials at Morphville last Tuesday, that was ten trials, and then drove to Balaclava Wednesday, Murray Bridge Saturday, and Portagata on Sunday. That's Big a trip. lot of racing. Big trip, Portagata. We should go there one day. I've been there. What about Jacob Ockerman? Your man. Rode at Port Augusta. <laughs> Young Ops. Hey? Yes. He's had to get from Mount Gambier to Port Augusta. And he rode the whole way. <laughs> no, he didn't, but no. He, and he's, he's picked up a winner. He turned from in front. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Great but, star. What about the big winner? Yes. Um, one of the best names in the business. I'm going to say it because you're not good with pronunciation. It's Siren Fork. Yeah, but you do your homework, I know. <laughs> that is true. It's Siren Fork. Now, Siren Fork, of course, is the brother of Guy, an unconfirmed... Did I say Guy wrong? Well, I'm trying to work out what's so funny in the studio audience there. I'm just trying to draw it's, the family it's, tree it's, here, It's mate. the brother of Guy and the second cousin of Wapta. <laughs> All right, uh, we rode five winners over the week, so we hope you found time to sit back and have a few on the couch. Did you get through that? What the fork? Let's have a look at one of the replays now. <laughs> Porter Gaster for Gawler trainer, Darren Magro. We're, he couldn't be in the studio. Kerry's uh, come in instead. Local Gawler trainer, let's take a look at his replay. Porter Gaster in the Pearl orange Dragons with the red under hard riding, but he's narrowly in front from Great White Hope. But Rocket Tansky moves up and moves up with Venom. Rocket Tansky takes Pearl Dragon, then Great White Hope. Brazen Head continues to run on. On, but uh, running out, Rocket Tansky, but he's still in front and he just gets in. Gee, ran out at the 50, almost threw it away, Rocket uh, Tansky. Welcome back the short break and uh, it's time for a barbecue. There's no notes here to barbecue. Oh, We're going to barbecue. Rocky <laughs> Butterworth <laughs> laughing Jesus. at his own joke. He's put Jason. I didn't... Siren doesn't have a brother called Guy. He's no. laughing at a joke that only 50 year old or older would know. Guy, Guy Fawkes are crackers, apparently. Yeah. I um, made my own joke in. I don't need his jokes. That's terrible. Seriously. Anyway. Do your notes properly, Rocky. It's enough. We've had enough of you. Off him. <laughs> Get off. Time for 3-1, mate. Come Righto. We found one this week. Yes, we sure have. We said last week's show that the Leon McDonald, Andy Gloss... Glorious. Glorious. He's done it again in the notes, hasn't he? It's glorious, yes. At Murray Bridge last Saturday. I'm getting sick of him. Seriously. Yep. Not, not Andy or <laughs> Leon. No, we backed him later on in a bit of... I don't want to ruin the Murray impact, Bridge but... last Saturday. Yep. Leon actually gave the horse a wrap-up two weeks ago and produced it first up over 1,200. Yep. We're talking about glory game, of course. Um, it was no closer than three wide. Pushed probably six wide on the turn. Um, and... Both times it found rhythm, but whoop, the gap closed, so there was no way through. Um, it was stopped in its track at about the 80 metre mark and then hit the line. So Black book it. Yeah. It's out to 1,400 metres. You can have some fun with it there, team. And uh, let's have a look at the replay now in the red, blue, colours, out wide. Don't you speak, because you're a Port Adelaide supporter. It was in more trouble than the Adelaide Crows out wide. So let's take a look. Good note. The 400 picks up a gear and has it still. Silver lining, Bramavi Ruboy. Air Marshal with a wet sail down the middle. Calypso Rain winding up. Street Car Strangers got a lift from Marvy Ruboy. Calypso Rain belting home down the middle. It sweeped up, went past Air Marshall. Magno Lake. Calypso Rain off with the prize though. It's all over. Bar the shouting. Calypso Rain wins brilliantly. Two and a half to Magno Air Marshall. Streetcar down on the right. Right, time now for Let It Ride. Bought us each week by Garrard's Horse and Hound. Tommy, did you have a win last week? Yeah, no, thanks. Did Tommy's impact have it? No, I had my. F- 
Hard earned ten dollars yep. for charity. Yep. We still have not won a bet for charity. In our defence, with the letter roll, we've been going long and wide. We, there's no, we don't want to give charity thirty dollars. So again, I've got. I've, I'm going. Not, I'd, I'd rather give them something than nothing at the moment. <laughs> uh, I don't want to give them a sniff. Um, so we, we've found one at twelve. So just you know, if on. we had one at two dollars, yeah. then times it by two the week yeah, after, yeah. that'd be four. Yeah. Times it by two would be eight. We turn a two dollar one into one. So let's get straight into it. Uh, it's race five, number two. It's, it's actually named after me. It's called Star Status. Um, it's a 12 to 1. It's second back from a spell. It had a very good third first up. Um, can it handle the 58? It's not a heavy track this week, so Caitlin's on board. She gets a one and a half claim. It's on the soft. It's out the McDonald and Glorious Camp, the aforementioned. I think it wins at 12 to 1. Um, so it's Rocky's money, so if it doesn't. <laughs> Not to worry. But for St. Vinny's, we're sticking with you know, St. Vinny's in the actually, city. Rocky's actually holding the bets now because he knows he's got absolutely no faith in us that he's <laughs> refusing to put the 10 on his pocket yeah. every week. No, hopefully $120 coming up for charity. And I've I can't wait for the week it does win because I bet she turns around and says he forgot to put it well, on. He's, he's got a he's cop paying, he's he will be. Now, before we get mm-hmm. Tommy's impact, hold fire. Okay. We're, we're going to go to a short break and our interview with Kerry McAnoldy from the Gawler and Brosser Jockey Club, trainer in town. Let's hear her story. And we'll come back straight after with... Tommy's impact. And welcome back to Racing, Pacing, Chasing on our racing segment this week. It's our special guest, Kerry McAnoldy, joins us, for a trainer from the uh, Gaul and Brosser Jockey Club, you could say. Welcome, Kerry. Thank you very much, Aaron. Thanks for joining us, Kerry. And we've just got you on, uh, we are in Gaul and Wright, recording, as we said, at the Gaul Greyhound Racing Club and a beautiful facility they got here. We were hoping to be at the uh, at the Jockey Club again tonight, but Shane had uh, other commitments. He couldn't let us into the facility. But I um, just wanted to get you on, Kerry, to not only talk about um, how you got into the sport, your history in the sport, your current horse in the stable um, and also the Gawler equine pool that uh, I'm also familiar with using and we pop into each other most mornings um, now as well but the asset that that brings to the club but firstly um, Kerry tell us a little bit about how you got involved in the sport and your history to date. Um, First of all started off with ponies as most people do Um, gradually went through ended up keeping horses in a racing stable and then gradually ended up riding track work um, at Cheltenham and then moved up to after that moved up to Angerston to work for Hazers. Yep. Um, and then travelled overseas to Japan. Yes. Um, that's where I met Clint, my yep. training partner, yep. which we call who we call Binny. Binny. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, and then yeah, we moved back to Gawler and um, training our own. And I've also worked at McAvoy's, as you know, yep. recently. Um, yeah. So. So t- working for all those people. When was it you decided that you wanted to branch out on your own and train your own team with Binny, as, yeah. as we call him? Probably um, when we come home from Japan. Yeah. Um, we went back to Hayes. So what year was that? Just out of interest. Um, two thousand. We got yep. back. Um, so yeah, I got my license at the end of two thousand. Yep. Um, and then we've gone into partnership in about 2009. So yeah, um, and that, that partnership certainly grown over the last 10 years. At the moment, you you're working about nine. Yeah, uh, you float between the eight to 12, and yep. you occupy uh, one barn there at Gawler currently. Yeah, um, that's about common for you. That yeah, the number. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's just enough for the just for us yep. two to be able to do all the work, and um, yeah, which is good and. Um, hands on, so yep. you know what's going on all the time. Uh, and on that, you've had some, you know, probably the um, one of the most recent horses that you've had a lot of success with, Buried Treasure. Yeah. Um, a bit of a sad story behind him. Buried Treasure went in with the high hopes and yeah, Gawler riding on him at the uh, the 2019 Gawler Cup, and yep. there was a bit of interest at the Calcutta that night. And yep. um, it was hyped up. He was certainly one of the, you know, the, he was the lady silhouette you could yep. say of 2018. Yep. But um, he went amiss in the race. Yeah, yeah. he did. Um, so he's never had the best legs um but he won six races for us um three in town and we'd had all the family so he's been he's a very special Pity horse the to us. Wasn't in yeah i know that's what we always say yeah, yeah. a bit yeah. too late but um i've still got him now as a as a hack yeah. so i've kept him but um, is he at the stables or he is yeah, he still comes in and out but he's in at the moment yeah. so i just muck around with him he has a few swims yeah <laughs> no, so he certainly um you know, is, is there another buried treasure? And don't say tapping Thomas, just because Shane Collins got you on the <laughs> yeah. show tonight. But yeah. um, we actually have his full buried treasure's full sister. Yep. So um, our treasure trove. Um, yep. She's just taking a bit of time, but a few little niggles. But hopefully, she shows lots of promise. So yeah. as they do. And now talking about the Gawler Club, they do a f- fantastic job there. Shane's a uh, you know a great leader, you could say, and um, you know the, the work that he and his committee and all of you have done around has, has sort of been you know the tip of the iceberg, you could say, with mm. the introduction of the Gawler Equine uh, Pool. And, yeah. um, you know, talking to Gary Searle there this morning, the, one of the 
few mornings that he was up before sunrise. <laughs> but uh, you know, talking to him about it as well and yourself, it must be a big, big asset to, uh, to many of the trainers. It's been a long time coming, and it's yeah. just yeah, fantastic. Especially we've got a couple of stayers, so just being able to get the extra miles and work yeah. into them without you know putting the pressure on their joints and stuff is just great. So, so out of the nine, how many of them would you swim on, on, on a given? Um, all of them go through some stage through the week. Fridays we tend to swim probably five yep. of them, um, and most of the stayers I swim. Most mornings they'll go through for one or two laps. So and also work on the track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's about and you know probably new to every all the trainers there. It's, it's about finding the balance. But you've had that experience obviously with McAvoy's a bit and also yeah. overseas in Japan. So you can probably relate that back to how you can use it. Yeah, yeah. and it's so different. Like we see you swimming. Yeah. You know? We like, just go up and back. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> we're sort of like one or two laps. You know. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we're very fortunate. We got um, West R C M. Who's you know, you talk about buried treasure with the bad legs. He got sent to us for the pool. Yeah. You know, that was opening up, and he's sort of been out of win his last three only because of the pool. Had yeah. he, he probably wouldn't be here racing today if it wasn't for the. the and we, oh. you know, we're indebted at the moment to the the club and allowing our other trainers and people yeah. in the community. I think it'll only, I'm sure you'll agree, it'll only get bigger and bigger with the people that want to use oh, the facility. Definitely. You know, I think come summertime, it's going to be crazy. People use it just yeah. to get out of the heat. Yeah, <laughs> but um, talking a little bit more. About your stable, so you've um, we, we, you got that nine to ten in work. But um, just a bit of a fun fact: they tell me you're a bit of a cat lover, and you rehome all the kittens no, around no. the track. <laughs> Shane just wanted me to throw that one in there. Yeah. I won't throw the other one that he said. Oh, that well, Vinny's as bad as what I am, actually. So we've been trapping wild cats from the school. <laughs> so, yeah, currently we've got our bathroom and spare toilet. With we, cats. we won't say how many. The council will be around there shortly. So <laughs> if we, anyone needs a kitten, I have some. <laughs> we, we, we are quite a couple of stable cats. There's nothing better. They certainly keep the mice under control. Yeah, but uh, um, You're a pretty tight-knit group, though, in, in those areas. You know, yeah. you've got um, Gary Searle, Darren Magro. Yeah. Amy also throwing a hand at training a bit yep. now, so you're a pretty tight knit group. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Everyone sort of does help each other out, which is a bonus. Um, yeah, and it's good. I think everyone's generally pretty supportive of yeah. each other, yeah. um, which is which is nice. Like if anyone needs a hand at the pool or. Yep. Or going to the barriers, you know, generally someone will give you a hand, so that's always handy. It was very. You had Ryan Balfour on the show two weeks ago. It's just talk, tell us a little bit before we move on to your runners next week. A day in the life of Kerry and Benny. What does it? When does it start? When does it finish? What's involved? When, yeah. when does the alarm go off? The alarm goes off at three o'clock. <laughs> you better get home. <laughs> <laughs> so Benny bounces out of bed, and I generally take another couple of alarms to get up. But, Hit the snooze um, button. Yeah. So yeah. he generally heads out by about half past three and I kind of get out there about quarter to four yeah. um, and so then we generally get we are normally on the track by 4.30 yeah. um, and then most days we'd probably finish working horses by probably eight o'clock and then yeah. there's always barriers, vets, um, moving horses or races or whatever yeah. and then you sort of like Sunday we went to Port Augusta home by just after seven, then you come home and do all the work, and it's sort of nine o'clock before you feed all the crazy cats. When you're getting, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's sort of nine o'clock before you sit down. So some long days, but doing something you like, I suppose it's yeah. As you know, it's, it's not a job, is yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Talking about Port Augusta on Sunday, you're um, you weren't the best of friends with the photo finish judge. You uh, just just again. missed out. <laughs> yeah. Run twice, seconds like beaten, not far, and he yeah. just loves it up there. But he it's loves a, the dirt. Yeah. Loves it. Yeah. yeah. And it's um just a good day. Like Port Augusta's a great club as well, so yeah. it's always a, a good day out, even though you're tired the next day. But it's yeah, yeah different atmosphere. Yeah. Just one more question before we get into the I want to get there, but um, the, back Gawler Cup time last year, you, there was a little promotion you run with oh, the yeah. club. Just tell us a little bit about that, you yeah. know, to attract more owners, and you did a bit of a raffle yeah, um, at that time. Just tell us a little bit about that and so, also getting people involved with your stable. Yeah, a few years ago we had a quite a good little mare, Pinky Tuscadero, yeah. um, and so this is we raffled a 5% share in her filly um, and by Moshe. Um, sold... I think we sold nearly 500 tickets yep. um, for five dollars a ticket, and it was amazing. It was such a big height on Cup, yep, it was cup, cup Day. Yeah, Cup Day. Um, when we drew it, and it was kind of a bit of a downer afterwards. Like, can we give shares out to someone else? <laughs> but, um, but anyway, ended up being won by Mel Shields yep. in Queensland, who is Todd Panel's manager. Yep. And she was one of the first people that bought tickets. She bought ten tickets straight off. Um, but she's one of those people that just is very supportive of. Her all... ticket must be sitting at the top of the barrel. Oh, no, <laughs> mixed them up so good, and um, she was just wrapped. But it wasn't um... ticket 001, was it? <laughs> <laughs> um, but she. Um, so at least I'll be guaranteed probably to get 
get Todd on that one. So <laughs> you might have to um, now. Yeah. yeah, so it's two year old or nearly three year old and just in the paddock, but due back in a couple of weeks. And did that track a lot of interest from other people buying shares in it? How'd yeah. that go for you as your stable? Um, a little bit of interest. Um, I think people love getting something for free, yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't done a lot of follow up on it. I still got them sitting on my thing to send out some sort of follow up stuff. But it was yeah. good. I, it was um, got a lot of people that I'd never met before, and yeah, yeah people were disappointed when the tickets, you know, <laughs> had finished selling. And yeah. it was really good. It was good fun. No, it was certainly very creative by you and the club there doing that. But um, let's talk about your runners. So you haven't got any in this Saturday. And we talk about Saturday is there's a, the uh, Metropolitan yeah. Meet at Gawler. Uh, I went there this morning. There's fresh bark. There's the place oh, is starting yeah, to just nice, yeah. spruce up a little bit. I'm sure. <laughs> Well, like that Saturday afternoon yeah, after yeah. the uh, the runners go through, but you you won't have any runners. No doubt you'll probably still be there viewing. But you've got three runners engaged next Wednesday. Yeah. Or you're going to accept there. We'll just talk about them: um, Manalu, Lord Rosenthorn, and also Tapping Thomas. He's the uh, he's the stable star, Shane. We've been told, so <laughs> get on him. But just tell us about those three runners. Um, so Manalu's a stayer. Yep. Um, he resumed back last week at Balaclava, run a nice six, um, back up to 2100 next week. So. Yep should um, be in the mix, hopefully. So we'll tick him off, each way chance. And Lord Rosenthal? Lord Rosenthal is actually a stayer, but has won first up before. So this is his first run back this prep. Loves to sting out of the ground. Um, So hoping he can run a nice race next week, hopefully with a claim off him. Yep. Um, And, And the boss's horse? He went good. He ran last Saturday at Metro at Murray Bridge, run yeah. a lovely six. Um, first time up at the mile. Hopefully he's just about not too far off anyone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, but he's a nice horse as well. No, that sounds good. Well, thanks for joining us tonight, Kerry. Um, before we go, how can people get involved with your stable and, um, you know, obviously in the way of ownership or, you know, reach out to you, come in some of those shares? Yep. I normally do some stuff on Facebook. Yep. Um, some shares or um, pop down the track and we're yep. always there. So. Yep. Pop down by the pool, you, you normally yeah. swim a couple there. Yeah, every yeah, morning. early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stand around for waiting for West Arsene to finish his eight laps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, no, definitely, um, yeah, it's something fun to be involved in, I think. Yeah, it certainly is. It's about attracting more and more people to the sport, and that's what we, uh, you know, give them the, uh, the life of racing. It is a, yeah. so once you get in your system, it's a bug. We've still got to get our cameraman in on one. I think he is, a, he is actually, he's in on one. Well, yeah, he doesn't know it, I don't think. We've put his name on down on one. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us tonight, Kerry. Thank it's been a pleasure me. to have you on board. We are. When we're in Gawler, we like to get a trainer on. Um, Gary Selby knocked up the camera to come on next time after we've potted him now for his late starts. But uh, we'll, we'll certainly get him on next week and uh, maybe we can get him in his togs doing a lap of the pool. Good luck with that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us, Kerry. Thank you Good luck much. next Wednesday night. Stay around, guys. We'll be back just after the break with the rest of Racing, Facing and Chasing. Right, right, we're back now. Great interview there with uh, Kerry. She does a fantastic job with her small team and uh, just gave us a couple of black bookers for next Wednesday. See they haven't come up in Tommy's impact. He obviously hasn't done his local homework, but Tommy, it's your 90 seconds to shine. I'll take more than 90, mate. Tommy's impact. Have we rolled the slide yet? Because I've been doing a sound effect lately. Rightio. Rose Hill, race eight, number 11. Okay, again, I've been scared off by the heavyweight we carried last week. Is this the Shades of Impact or this is Tommy? No, this is the Tommy's impact. I've I've gone in reverse order as per the notes. Uh, Race eight, number 11. It's called Cordia. Uh, I've just got on it at 3.30. Jockey Tommy Berry, trainer James Cummings. It's got a reasonable record. Four runs for three wins in a second. It's one from one on the side. Um, it quite simply wins. Spoke to multiple people out this today and only heard good things. And they multiple said, "Multiple what? So you rang Waller, Cummings, no, Gay, <laughs> Dan Oliphant, <and laughs> Chris Dang. Oakley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it wins. It wins for me. So normally I say, oh, if I'm a bit nervous, I say ten trade, twenty on the nose. Cordia will turn into sixty-six bucks for you. That's a couple of schnitzels and some beers down at the Prince Albert, our major sponsor. So it's as simple as that. Race eight, number eleven, Rose Hill. Any impact? Any 50 shades? Well, 50 shades of impact going for two in a row here. And we're sticking with the number 11. It is still at Rose Hill. Race four, number 11. Zing! That name again. Zing! <laughs> it's written by Jason Collett. It's trained by Waller. Um, just got on it at sixes with your, with your double offer. Uh, Place 12s. 
It's a fantastic bet. Zing, race four, number 11. And just a quick one, Bainey, because we've had a pretty quick show tonight. We've got something new for you. It's called Trust Tommy and Tice. So we've been sitting in the corner, me and old Panagiolo. Um, I really enjoyed Hang doing on, it. Hang on, So last week you had a bet off. Tyson beat you. Now you're making another segment. He's made me believe I think we can achieve. Right, so <laughs> ty- trust Tyson and Tommy. We are giving you a tip right now that's going to win, and it's never run before. That's right, it's on Debu, or as my notes say, Babu. <laughs> it's called... Um, you know what? I'll tell you what it's where it is. It's Gawler, race one, number three. It's one of those big Choco Dogs or gallops? No, no, it's, it's horse racing. Uh, What's Tyson got to do with the gallops? They, we were watching they replays can't. and it, it had the best trial I've ever seen. Alez sur le gris. Alez sur le gris. All right, cheer that one home. <laughs> uh, I just got on at 260, race one, number three at Gawler this Saturday. Do yourself a favour and trust Tommy and Tice. Please just refer to me what Tyson has to do. He can't tip a greyhound winner. He got Tyson got seven. He came out of the seven from eleven. Right, last so week. he has a good week on the punt finally, and he thinks he can have his own segment on the racing segment. We won't let you tear us down, Baney. Wasn't in the notes. Love to cut that out, but we can't. Bring back anyway. Popper Bain. He should post the show with me. <laughs> anyway, Tommy, it's been a pleasure. Right, Big fun. Thanks to our uh, major sponsor, Air Diffusion Agencies. Great to have them on board. Platinum program partner, as you could say. Also the Prince Albert Hotel Gawler. We wanted to get there for a uh, schnitzel and a pint tonight, but you just took too long on Tommy's impact. Sorry. And also the Choice Hotels group. But, Tommy, it's been a pleasure once again. Hopefully I can find you winner this week, and if not, I'll be back next week and I'll try again. <laughs> Mate, Expressway's back out on the left. Head home. We'll see you next week. Thanks for yours. Remember, like, share, comment, get on Tommy's impact or Tommy and Tyson Trust and whatever it was called. Enjoy it. We'll see you this time next week.